Hello, my name is Christian Buchecker. I'm a member of a team of students of Eco Energy Engineering at the Upper Austrian University of Applied Science. In our fourth semester, we joined a project with the goal to produce an organic, inorganic, hybrid perovskite solar cell in our labs. A perovskite solar cell basically works like a well-known silicon solar cell. But instead of the silicon, a chemical compound of an organic and inorganic material is used. Perovskite solar cells still are in a very early stage of research. Many scientists all over the world study this technology. In laboratories, cells with an efficiency of 20% and more already were produced. But these cells cannot be produced on a bigger scale or durable enough for the hard surrounding conditions in which solar cells normally were used. Let's have a look how a perovskite solar cell is built up. Here you can see a sketch of the cell we produced in our laboratories. We used a glass with a transparent conductive oxide layer on the front and on the back of the cell. Every cell also needs a PN junction to separate the free electrons from the holes. Therefore we used a titanium dioxide layer on the front and a copper thiocyanate layer on the back. In the middle there is the light harvesting perovskite layer. We built the cell from the front to the back. So to contact the last layer with the glass we used a thin layer of graphite. All these layers are very thin. We are talking about a few hundred nanometers. So all layers together are less thin than a tenth of a millimeter. And now we will show you a few clips of the production of our cell. In our project, we produced a lot of well-operating perovskite solar cells with an efficiency of 0.36%. And we learned a lot about this technology. When all the technical problems with perovskite solar cells can be solved, this could become a very important technology in the future because of the high efficiency and the low production costs.